Hello everybody, today we are playing The Agony. And I'd like us to just take a moment to appreciate this soothing, new age, getting a massage background music. Fantastic choice for this menu. Um, this game is originally released in Russian. Um, I'm over here on this side for a special reason, and you will find out about that in just a moment. Agony. World that has never existed. Prologue. Oleg and Olga. And you will see that in about two seconds her name changes. There was a hideous odor in the air. The ground was wet and one could hardly see anything but the blackness. Olia. Oleg. I am scared. So her name has already changed. Um, and check out this save menu that is microscopic. So if we want to save, we are brought to this. And as you can see, there are lots of options of where you, um, or lots of, you can save a lot of files. Um, you can save 80 files, 90, 100, 300. We might even, uh, hit the quadruple digits. So there's that option for you. Let's go back. Let me move myself. Woo! Back over here. And we can enjoy this game. Everything will be okay. Oh, Leo, dear, I'm having a rough time too. But we have to endure it. The exit must be somewhere near. Believe me. I tried to soothe her, but I doubted myself that we, we would be able to find it. Tell me, Oleg, can so much trouble occur to one person in a day? Well, if it has occurred, then it probably can. I am so lucky to be with you. Together we can overcome any difficulties, right? Very bland, annoying dialogue. Right, Olia? Together we can do anything, but we can't give up or panic. Anything but that. Um, why did we happen to be in such a wrong place and at a wrong time? Is it fate? I don't know, but the main thing is to not give up. I kept on cheering her up and quickened my pace. Olia walked along. Olia, Oleg, I can't see anything. Me too. It's pitch dark, but this is the only thing we can do. You don't want to drop dead right here, do you? Of course I don't. Wait, I can hear something. Olia strained an ear and I did the same. I like to make the joke she sprained an ear. I can't hear anything. But I am sure that I've heard somebody and the sound is coming from ahead. Are you sure? Then hurry up. Maybe the entrance is over there. No, wait. The sounds are strange. I could finally hear the sounds too. They were repetitive and looping. They had gradually intensified and became clearer, except not at all. Someone is approaching us fast like hell. Let's walk on. Give me your hand, Olia. I am here. Where are you now? In the meantime, that sound had increased. It was obvious that someone was running towards us, producing some kind of growl. I touched the hand of my companion, but suddenly a creature had grabbed Olia and her hand was torn apart from mine. I could hear a very loud sound that reminded growling. I had no idea what it was, but it had to be some kind of a living being which produced unseen or rather unheard sounds. Unheard sounds make sense. Oleg, it has grabbed me. Help. Ah, 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 Stand still. Oleg's voice was dying away. The creature was far away. I was in despair. Now Oleg at Lachinin had lost the last thing, which meant something to him. He was left all alone. What kind of creature was that? What happened to Olia and where was she? But what kind of creature was that? What happened to Olia and where? I started panicking. It all started so well. I can hardly believe that in a brace of shake, one can lose everything, lose it and have absolutely nothing left. With the help of my hands, I felt for some plate under my feet and sat on it. While I was sitting on it, hundreds of thoughts were whirling in my head. Only a few hours ago, I thought, I'm trying not to sneeze, that I was the happiest man on earth. I was so wrong. Now I was in the middle of nowhere and I had no idea where to go and what to do. It seemed to me that my head was going to explode because of all of the thoughts and voices. 
I was afraid of uncertainty of the unknown. I was afraid that I might die and rot in these underground slums. I would simply disappear as if I had never existed. It took another minute and I calmed down. My head was full of memories. Chapter one. Let's get this party started. Oh, I have to click. Finally, this long-awaited day has come. God, I'm so happy. Cheap flowers. Fresh flowers. How much are these roses? 100 rubles for a rose. Just look how beautiful and fresh they are. You won't regret buying them. I'll take five. I reached into my pocket for the money, but to my surprise, there was none. Shoot, I am butters. I must have forgotten it. How could I forget the money getting ready for such an important date? I was infuriated by my own absent-mindedness. If I could go back home to take the money and then come back to buy the flowers, I would definitely be late for the date. But Olga would appreciate this present. So, this is one of the reasons why I bought this game. They, um, one of the screenshots they had featured was her saying, uh, roses for sale. Let me just turn my voice down. Um, I'm getting very excited over here. This, I could not care less about this. Blah, blah, blah. Bought a bunch of flowers. Then I briskly walked to Olia home. When I came, she was already waiting for me. I thought that being late is a girl's thing. Please forgive me that I have kept you waiting. Have you been waiting long? 20 to 25 seconds. 20 to 25 seconds. Really? Never mind. I have been late myself. Oh my god, she's she's so stringent. Where are we going to? Let's dance in a club. I really hope they have like a club scene. But it's always noisy there. There's nothing on right now except for Universal Threat or Bloody 91. Care. And God, she is beautiful. I've known her for some time, but she has never been so stunning. I guess girls really bloom like flowers having reached the age of 19. Olia is such a flower. She has become so passionate, so poignant, but she is still so sweet. Like a scarlet rose. She is blossoming. To watch her is a blessing. Alright, let's count the flower similes. Bloom like flowers, like a flower, like a scarlet rose, blossoming. I almost needed two hands for that. When she is floating, I am floating with her. When she is sad, I am sad with her. When she wants me, I want her. I am chained to Olia, and she is chained to me. And it seems to me each of us enjoys that. God, this is so insufferable. The agony! Ah, get it. None of the our whims and none of the outside influences can impact our union, which I think has started in eternity and cannot be destroyed. Turns me on. Okay, so we have our very generic young male lead that you, any player can imprint themselves on. I am 22, I haven't lived long enough to understand life fully, blah, blah, blah. I have been shy and never let myself to make move, moves. so much. <laughs> Curious, at some point in my life, I started feeling like a hot guy. Really hot. A hot guy from Serpukov in Moscow. I became even more quick-tempered after their army service for the benefit of my homeland. I have been having nightmares for some time. I started drinking. This is so dumb. I am well versed in shooting.
Finally, I am strong, young, energetic, and hot. I am Oleg Lachanin. I'm sorry, I just can't be bothered. Oh my god, she wants to bang in public. Yes, I've done it several times. Let's do it. Oh my god! Alright, time to go into um, Adobe Premiere. I pet the tree. <laughs> Woo! She stripped full naked and pulled. Alright, so there's mean guys with the gun. Alright, so he's threatening the guy because he doesn't have his money. Only I got clothed. It's interfere. Because it sounds it's the music just loops very poorly. Whoa, nice! Who are you? Do you want to say goodbye to your life? Bion, really, there's no need to kill anyone. Let's just get out of here. Take him. He might be of some use for us. There's no need to kill anyone. Yes, sure, and what shall we do about him? He pointed a gun at me and shot. I like this image. Oh, might as well save in slot 711. Whoa. The end. I'm glad I saved right after I doomed myself to a dying. Oh my god, we have to do that again? I can't even hold down enter, you're gonna have to give me like click. So this is like goosebumps. Choose your own adventure. Flowers, fresh roses. Okay, so we need to save before, oh my god, his freaking monologue. Alright. I pressed a finger to the lips. But, save. I don't know. I just really don't want to click. Stand still. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to read. No! Exit. Um, because I saw something that looked funny that I wanted to read. All right, so we're not gonna interfere. It was a healthy, tough man. Clean it. Bossy much? Oh my god, again. You blockhead, you killed a man in front of other people. Man is shoot at us from all their guns. 
Well, I was a little worried too. I'm such a badass. Get ready for pushing buttons on the screen to run. Quick time. Quickly press E and Q. Wait, I don't. I didn't have to. That was a fake. The men were already here and they didn't see anything. They saw some shot. They shot her. I got shot. So, the prompt to start pressing buttons, though, was like really. Old fences were everywhere as well as rotten buildings, the so-called urban slums. Not a living soul. This is the end! Not yet. I've noticed an open trap door with a hatch nearby. My dude, that is a hole in the ground. Sorry, but this is a bad time to be picky. So this is how we ended up in this sewer. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I think she said, I think I said she was wearing high heels. Clean high heels. It's quick save. So I'm so proud that I completed that um, quick time challenge. Of course, I never traveled through the sewer system before. It was comfortably tall in height. So it began the anguish of Oleg Latinin. Oh my god. Chapter two, immersion. All right, let's let's do that next time. I need a moment to recover from this. Wow, what a game, you guys! This is fifty cents well spent. Um, I will see you next time. Be sure not to miss chapter two because it looks riveting. Promises to be amazing. Goodbye. Have a nice day.